パークスモデルは教育のどの段階で使うんでしょうか。Ah. When I look at the ARCS model articles on Google, for example, I see many small reports, and all they talk about are the four categories, ARCS. However, it's important to realize that the ARCS model is a motivational design process. It has problem analysis, problem design,、uh, you know, analyzing solutions, everything else, just like the ADI model. And it can be used concurrently with the ADI model. In some of my writings, in the book, for example, There's a diagram that shows exactly how the two processes can be used concurrently when you're designing instruction. The ARCS model can also be used for diagnosis. You know, when you're teaching a course, a trainer can, if a trainer is having motivational problems, he or she can say, "What's the problem? What's the problem?" And then they can think about, "Am I? Don't I have? Aren't they curious? Or aren't they seeing this as being relevant?" And、uh, so you can do analysis during the process. You can also analyze your own uh, uh, motivational attitudes as an instructor and use it at the same time. So all of these processes can be done concurrently with the instructional systems design process.